Hey guys, I've got the PP19 for you today. Got a nice little epic skin coming for free. 1st of October, everything starts. And it looks like you need to use these tokens. Now you can get them in daily rewards, you can get them from events, or you can buy them from the credit store. Nice and easy. I've got all the stats, all the gunsmiths for you, ready for that really nice epic skin. Let's get started. As always, we'll start off with the base statistics. 31 is our highest damage per shot. Very, very nice. The lowest on the base weapon is 12. Not a big deal. Large caliber ammo will come to the rescue there. Standard ADS speed. Penetration, low for an SMG. The large caliber ammo will lower it further and you'll see that later. Really good sprint to ADS and sprint to hip fire though. The multipliers on the base weapon. Head, 1.2. Legs, 0.8. The large caliber ammo will help us out there as well. Let's go and have a look at those ammo statistics. There you go, look at that part reload speed. Really, really nice. But now, look at that empty reload speed. You really don't want to let it get that far. You've got 64 rounds in the magazine, though. No excuse for not reloading early. 662 rounds per minute with a 91 millisecond punishment value. Yep, we can live with that. Let's go and have a look at the movement speed, shall we? So for base movements, not bad. ADS movement, especially with skull cut, really, really nice. The sprint speed with the lightweight, okay, so 5% now, but it's still useful, but you've got those other options. Really, really fast, zoom around the map, and with the fitting, we're gonna go even faster. Now, let's go find out what sort of damage this base weapon actually does do. Okay, headshots, four shot kill, up to 31 meters. I wonder if that's achievable. The uh, torso shots there, 272 milliseconds there, four shot kill, it's up to 15 meters I've got there, it's really about 14 and a half, 15. Uh, after that, five round kill, 363 milliseconds. Okay, no big deal. Everything here on the base weapon over 31 is nasty. Of course, if you're not using a large caliber ammo, you've got those legs in there, you don't want to be hitting them, but it's gonna be pretty unavoidable. Large caliber ammo is the way to go. Now those headshots. Let's go see how the recoil works. There you go, you can see that in the video there. It's basically straight up. There is a minor pull off to the right, but you're not gonna notice it even at range. It's really good, just pull down. As for the hip fire, at five meters, it will get the job done. It's not the best without any help, but it doesn't have any recoil to it at all. It just sits there and points straight. That's really, really helpful. The iron sight of the weapon, it kind of bugs me a bit. There's something about seeing as much of the gun as we're seeing, just that little thing at the end. But you get used to it rather quickly, and I would try and get used to it other than using a red dot. Now, let's go and have a look at the multiplayer build. Okay, so the goal here is to keep the large caliber ammo and reduce the bad side effect of the range that it takes off, because we want that range. Monolithic Suppressor, silenced, gives us 12% damage range. MIP Extended Barrel, I think this is better than the Marksman. The negatives on the Marksman are a bit too nasty for my liking. The 10% range it gives us now means we have got an over 2%. So we're actually gonna gain a whopping 2% range. Excellent stuff. No stock for the movement speeds and the ADS time to mitigate the damage we've just done, mitigating the range. Yeah, fun build. For the laser, RTC laser, straight up hip fire. It's really, really useful. I really recommend that you go this route. And of course, the ammunition, the large caliber. We lose the 20% damage range, but we've just solved that. The bullet penetration, we're not fixing, but it's an SMG. If you're using an SMG, you're probably not trying to wall bang. Let's go and have a look at the changes that this actually made to our stats. Okay, lots and lots of changes there on you. We've got the range, a whopping 2%. That makes just such a huge difference. It's amazing. It's the best stat-changing thing I've ever done. Yeah, maybe not. As for the movement speeds, you've got all your figures there. We've upped them a lot. I look at that sprint speed with lightweight now, 7.10 meters per second. Very nice. We've suffered a minor bit on the ADS speed. I mean, it registers as a frame, but it probably isn't. The penetration there, that's what I mentioned earlier, you're losing 12% off of the penetration. So 33%, if you put FMJ on it's 65, just not worth it. No wall banging with this weapon. 
Let's go and have a look at what this does to our damage now. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, the legs are gone. <laughs> Everything is now his head and the rest of the body, which is good. This is the large car of ammo. It really makes the TTK much more consistent. Go with it. Uh, for the ranges, the first range block is really is pushed out by about half a meter, really. So you are dot on that 15 now. The second block is out by a meter, as is the third. That's all that changes. So we haven't lost any range for the benefit of the large caliber ammo multiplier changes. Uh, I think that's worth it, really. I really do. Let's go and have a look at the accuracy changes now. Has it actually done anything? So for the recoil, there's no noticeable difference. Yes, the barrel did take off some horizontal, but let's face it, there was none there in the first place. So it's even straighter, pull down and just straight down. As for the hip fire, it is noticeably tighter. If you compare this one with the last one, you're gonna see a lot more numbers on that dummy there. Really good, really worth it. And you do use it a lot more than you would think. Let's go and have a look at the BR build next. Okay, so this is to push out the range and to improve the hip fire. That is really what I think this is best for. So we've got the monolithic suppressor, ranged and silenced, helps of course. Here I have gone for the marksman, extra range. I want that extra range. Uh, I've got the no stop for some extra movement to fix what we've got there. It gives us a little bonus overall. We've got the hip fire laser, the hip fire BR, you know those go together. And of course we have the large caliber ammo. Let's go with it. It's worth it, it really is, especially when you're hip firing on those legs. For the mods that you can use in here, I would recommend you use the hip fire boost for the pinpoint accuracy, the extended for the ammo and the reload speed, and the long range to push out that range damage even further, but especially for that headshot damage boost. If you want to see what all the mods do, check out the video popping up in the corner now. They're all listed, all the rarities. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Let's go and see what this does to the BR stats. Okay, so the stats changes, the range is out by 17% overall. It's worth it, it's really, really nice. And we get that pinpoint hip fire. If you do take that hip fire mod, you're gonna really notice that. Movement speeds, okay, the ADS movement speeds only up a little, but our sprint speeds up a bit. Not enough to really notice, but it's worth it. Yes, we've lost some ADS speed, but it's BR, who cares? And we've got those penetration changes because of the large caliber ammo. Large caliber ammo is still worth it though. It really, really is. Let's go and have a look at what the damage looks like in BR now. Okay, here's your sea of numbers. 20 meters, that's where I think you're looking at. The long range will push that out a good block for you, but unless you've got that long range mod, stick to that 20 meters. Obviously, if you have got that long range mod, a lot of these stats are going to look a lot nicer. Let me know in the comments if that's something you would actually like to see and I might look at doing that. Not bad, it really isn't. Your 300 HP people are the ones that are gonna really hurt you. The bullet speed, it is pretty much standard for an SMG. Now let's go and have a look at my final verdict on the PP-19. Okay, so what do I think? Good movement speeds, very simple recoil control. Even a noob like me can use it, it's awesome. It's accurate enough that you can even get the kills at 40 plus meters, no big deal. Yes, it's gonna take a good few rounds, but you're gonna get the job done. Great reload speed, and we've got a nice free anniversary epic coming. Yep, have some of that. The ammo capacity, okay, we can't do much about it, but 64 rounds is just overkill. For the cons, yep, large caliber ammo. I don't like that it's a must, but that's just me, yep, gotta live with that. The penetration with that large caliber ammo sucks. No wall banging, or if you do, it's gonna take half of that magazine. Not on the ground in BR. Really wanted that on the ground. Would have been really, really nice. Empty reload, very, very painful. And the iron sight takes some time to get it used to. Overall, I think it's a very nice gun. I didn't like it at the beginning. Really didn't. But now, yep, this is going in my loadout. There you go, guys. Not a gun I actually liked in the beginning, but I've grown to like it. I hope you do too. And I hope you're enjoying your epic skin. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe for more videos coming every week. Thanks for your time in watching. See you next time.